Hey there. Hi. Hi. Jan Schultzman. How are you? Have a seat. Sorry, I'm late. How are you? I got lost. You got lost? Yes. How'd you manage that? Well, I've never been here before, so. Wait, you've never been here before? What kind of a Harvard man are you? The Cornell kind. Cornell? Mm. Wait, I, I thought you went to Harvard. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure somebody said that. Yeah, somebody said you went to Harvard. You. Mm. Cornell. Yes. Well, listen, Cornell is a, is a damn good school. Damn good. So, what do you want? Well, um, I could take you through it step by step, or if you prefer, you could uh, take this with you, study it. It's, it's a little uh, complicated, but I'm sure... It's an unspoken rule of the Harvard Club, Jan. Business is never transacted here. I meant, what'd you want to drink? I wanted to reach across the table and strangle him with his tie. But instead, I sat there for two hours and listened to him talk about selling his yacht in Long Island Sound. You know, sometimes I, uh, sometimes I actually prefer the little one, the 35-footer, you know, because I can crew it myself. I, mm. I could be all by myself out there alone. And boy, it's magnificent. I mean, there's no... Nobody can call you, nobody can beep you, nobody can fax you. There's, mm. there are no lawsuits. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You sail, huh? No. You don't sail. Finally, we went to his office. Come on, let's go over here and sit down for a second. Come on, it's more comfortable. Come on, have a seat. He, he, he comes around the desk. He sits down. Go ahead, sit down. He puts his feet up on the spindly French antique thing. And he tells me to put my feet up. Put your feet up. Come on. I don't want to. No, thank you. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, really, I'm fine. Nothing's going to break. It's all right. Come on, put them up. It was weird. There was all this talk about my, my putting my feet on this table. It's all right. I mean it. Try it. Come on, put your feet up. Now, let's be honest. I can afford to pay you almost anything you ask. It's not the money. It's what a settlement that high says. It says we're guilty. And that says to every two-bit personal injury lawyer in Boston, hey, let's run up to Woburn and sign up every jerk with a head cold. It creates a shark effect. And that I can't afford. Give me a number. Well, I'm not going to negotiate with myself, Al. I'm not going to just throw out numbers so you can say no to them. You'll have to come up with a number. Eight million. Eight million? He said eight million? Mm-hmm. Eight million. I can't go to the families with that. Wait, what? Who? What families? I can't go to them empty-handed. What are you talking about? Since when is eight million dollars empty-handed? Eight million dollars is a lot of money. I owe them more than that. You owe them? What do you owe them? What do you owe them? You owe them your career? We're talking about our careers here. You owe them that much? We're talking about our families here. That's what we're talking here, you know. Our families, Jan. Don't do it. Don't go for broke on this one. It isn't worth it, Jan. Nobody calls anymore? Not even the creditors? Are the phones still working? Schlippen, Conway, and Crowley. Just another place. Someone named Grendon. Creditor. Are you here? 
Do I look like I'm here? Yes, we're busy meeting with him, so I'll... Do me a favor, Gordon, will you? Shut up. What? I'm so tired of hearing you moan about money all the time. This isn't about money anymore. No? No. What's it about? What's it about, Jen? Look, let's just all try to hold No, I want to know. I want to know what I gave up my house for, my credit, my life. Would you take $10 million right now? Yes. But you won't take eight? No. No. So at $10 million, this is some sort of a, 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 a mythic struggle. But at eight, it's just another lawsuit. If they're willing to pay eight, Gordon, then it's not enough, is it? Oh, that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So the only thing you'll accept is what they're not willing to give us. Listen to yourself. Well, I, for one, am sick of listening to you. Lost enough because of you. You wouldn't have anything to lose if it wasn't for me. Everything you have, I got for you. I don't have anything, Jan. What do I have? I, I got, uh, I got a couple of bucks uh, and some, some bus transfers. I've got, uh, I got a savings account from when I was 12 years old. Here. There's $37 in here. With interest, after 25 years, it's probably $47. Take it. Boy. Add it to add it to the war chest. Use it to fight injustice. Stand up for principles with that. Go down in flames with it, for all I care. Only next time. Next time. That's a laugh. Ask us if we want to go down with you.